Hello, Wins. Welcome back. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign, Mandate of Heaven, with Filthy Robot. How are you doing? Not well, not well. All right, I'm going to go back down to speed two since we're done with that siege. Okay. Lost the fight and, with the uh, uh, rebels. And that's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Why'd you do that? No, I don't know. I had uh, as many troops. I was at like 75%, 80% morale, which seemed fine. And uh, in defensive terrain. Spawned with a decent general, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, probably, it probably was horde related if I had to guess. I bet you because I was in woods, uh, getting a minus 25% combat modifier, because I'm just so not used to that. Yeah, it's hard to adjust to that. It is very you hard. Gotta, the thing I don't like about it is that uh, they made that change to forts, where you want all of your forts in defensive terrain, but you've got to reverse everything you know about that placement when you play as a horde, because you actually want them in flat terrain, so you get the shock bonus. Yeah. So, it's hard. You can, hard. Uh, there's a, an option in... in in your decisions menu to like reform the government. Man, pause. Yeah, go ahead. I'm throwing away manpower I don't have, and I could have I could have just accepted a 25% autonomy increase, but it's only seven seven stack of rebels. I'm like I can handle this, and I couldn't handle it, and it's bad news. Now I'm gonna get extra autonomy like all over my fucking nation again. I just put one of these down. Not doing so well. You've had some issues this campaign, yeah, this, that's sure. Yeah, it's been very, very problematic for me. Good old subject just helping out like a bro. Wish my subject would help out. I could if he had fought the rebels with me, we would have we would have defeated them. He's fucking off standing over there, being useless. Well, he's not actually a subject, he's an ally, but someday he'll be a subject, that's why I called him a subject. Autonomy. I must like it, since I apparently have huge amounts of autonomy in my entire nation. Alright, I'm gonna take a pause because I might get a piece deal right now. Yeah. If I take the provinces, I lose 20 trust with my subject, my ally, I need to Occupy something that I can give to him. I don't like it. They have the exact same color adjacent to each other. It's annoying. It is very annoying when that happens. All right, never mind. I gotta wait till we get another occupation. Got on pause. Yep. I still have no air. It's been so long. I'm really su sort of surprised, especially because I've got diplomatic ideas, and one of the ideas is chance of new air plus 25. Like, I should have an air. Chance of air plus 40. Still nothing. Yep. Nope. It recedes a province to Longjiang. That's it. Like, I might actually sink... Yes! Sinking the Bengal heavies. Got them both. It's good. Very good. Sure, uh, Navy-like. Very weak. It's nine lights, five transports. I don't even know why I have the transports. I don't really need the transports. I just have the transports. I'm kind of surprised my own noble rebels gave me... Don't they, aren't they Horde as well? Are they, I mean, they don't get this negative penalty for fighting in woods? Mmm, they should, I think. I don't know. I don't know either. Noble? No. It's, it is slowly raising autonomy by 10% in every single one of my provinces in my nation, because I can't kill them. Have you considered building any forts? <laughs> like I could afford that. Why not? Yeah, a little bit expensive. I love forts. I love full fort coverage. You don't have to worry about uprisings. Feels like yeah. since I can't get my legitimacy past zero, it feels like it might be a, a very solid play this game to build some forts. If I get money for it one day. Consider taking um, 
if you ever can win that war against uh what is it Bur buryatia Bur whatever that guy is mm -hmm. take take his gold mine and then develop it oh i forgot he even had a gold mine i can't believe i didn't win that fucking war it would have been a good idea where is it yeah i just didn't even think about it i mean i didn't win the war because i didn't win the war so it didn't make any difference but i have totally forgotten about that gold mine ironically i i don't i can't see it from here it's just cap province it's got a level yeah. three four protecting it so it makes it very difficult to do anything Shit. Get full maintenance bum, for this. Bum, 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 bum. Probably not. All right, he's actually got an occupation now. Cool. He's still upset if I give him that much. I think we just wait for his capital to fall and let him separate peace, and then I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's his problem, right? Mm Means they got a 42% chance his capital falls, in which case this alliance will go away. Oh well. Granted, I will have to end up fighting a fairly sizable amount of troops if that happens. I do need to get the, the war goal back though. Uh oh. He's trying to occupy it himself, and he's got it set as conditional, like strategic interest. I don't think he'll transfer that to me then. You bastard. I hope your capital falls, sir. I feel like even though the the diplomatic like automated diplomat thing is is very convenient, I am now my wait what 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 one sec I think my land force limit went down. My land force limit went down slightly. Why? That's kind of weird. Uh, I guess I revoked land from the nobles and that affected things. Okay, well, um... No, you know what it is? I had a subject before. Okay. I'm gonna pause. Unpause yeah. now. Go ahead. That's costing me an extra half ducat a month just to be over that force limit right now. So, Meng Yang's capital just got occupied. He is at 21 enthusiasm. Likely to lose his enthusiasm soon. Oh, he actually did transfer that. Cool. I don't want to stop being your ally, but I kind of need you to not be upset with me for not giving you any land. So if you could just take that separate piece, that yeah, deal, would huh? be great. Finally, the noble is in a position I can maybe do something. Now this is this is confusing. I'm I'm looking at a peace deal right now against Bengal, and I'm taking a province that I don't have a claim on, and yet it doesn't cost any diplo points. That doesn't. Do you have uh, any ideas that might influence that to that meaningful degree? I mean, it should shouldn't it? I mean, those would only be reductions, right? I mean. Influence idea finisher is uh, unreasonable claims, right? Or am I thinking of a different one right now? Yeah, but no, I've I've got taking from rival and despotic monarchy. It's showing it. It's showing base cost forty eight minus forty three percent, and then it says not part of the war goal and will cost an extra zero dip. Hmm. I don't I don't get it. So either. Okay, I'm gonna unpause again. Yeah. I don't get it. Weird. Um, Bengal's individual war score against Wang Yang is at 1, according to this? That's not true. He's got way more than that. Oh, it's because it's occupied by Assam.
Not my problem. The devastation in Pegu is rapidly killing my my uh prosperity, aren't it? Alright, let's see if we get this negative modifier when fighting our own nobles. We do and they do not. So, despite the fact they're my nobles, they do not get this 25% shock modifier. One second. I'm showing combat on the 15th. Alright, so we're gonna have to do that. I'm kind of thinking I'd use a bunch of horses this campaign because that's like cool horse bonuses and shit, but no. It just feels like a very yeah. expensive use of my units right now. Yeah, they are expensive. Can you on? Can I on pause? Yeah, okay? go ahead. We've gotten good at that part at least. Remembering to, uh, to ask. I remember forgetting to quite often. Nah! He's sneaky! Jesus Christ. More corruption. More losing the second less. Or stab or corruption. What a little bastard. Out of nowhere, he just he's blindsiding me and Ava. He's gonna stack, he's gonna overrun my army. Um I could scorch the uh, province, but I don't control it, so hostile movement speed minus fifty percent. But I don't control it, so that means that it wouldn't it would actually harm me. So do I raise provinces I own or provinces I control in a war? Control or own either. So I could have done it to things I had captured that I had occupied temporarily, but not, uh, but not conquered. Yeah, I mean you can do it whenever you want. It's just you've got to do it in a time that's going to benefit you. Well, yeah, gives me gold or something though, right? Uh, oh it God. doesn't give you gold, no. Another fucking rebel uprising. Wang Yang is at negative. All right, that four four enthusiasm. I'm a little concerned here that this this game plan of mine might actually not work. Maybe I should have actually helped my ally. I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, one sec. There's the piece. He is not willing to give me all of the land that I want right now. Min succeed war score. Uh, negative 27 reasons. It is quite a bit of land. Wait, the war goal. That's what I need. I gotta get Maraku back. Okay, good done, pause? Yep. Oh, the pain of this campaign so far. Just getting that. Maybe I should have invested in some mercs in that war then. Just take the debt to get the stupid gold mine. Instead of piecing out, I just for, totally flipped my mind. I'm like, okay, I guess it's not that big a deal for some shitty land, but it wasn't just shitty land. It was, it was gold mine. Land. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Alright, 25 war score suddenly becomes 34. And I now have negative two reasons. The ally that helped me so much is no longer allowed to be upset. Because he's not in the war. And uh, I can't get on the other fort, can I? No. Hmm. 
All right. So, what are your immediate plans? Try desperately to win this war. Okay. Uh, pause real quick. I got 37 war score now. The ticking war score is going to go up. Okay, I got to wait. I need like three days. All right. Ming Adventurers. Gain a general with 40 tradition. That's a cool random event. Sweet. It's a 2 1 6. Cool. Better than what I had. I have 38 war score. Uh, he's four reasons away from giving me even more of what I want. Hey. More fucking rebels for me. Alright, I'm pause again. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't. I keep on, like, trying to peace out, but then. deciding that I need to get, like, one more province. It's, it's a problem I have. You know? It's the greed. Sure. It happens. Besides, this guy's not going to have any chance of actually succeeding in a siege, so there's like no harm in waiting a little bit longer. Okay. Alright, real quick, I'm going to pause again because I just pieced out the ally, which was me at 53 war score, which means I do have six days, just six days. The ability to take a ridiculous amount of land now. Okay. There it is. Okay, so... Sixty-four... Okay, I'm gonna take a piece deal. Good to go? Yep, go ahead. Okay, let me just real quick assign this all to a new subject. I can take a new decision now, apparently. I can enforce my heritage. Neighboring country is not Eastern religion. Stability is at least one. I can get missionary strength plus two. Tolerance of heathens plus one, minus one. No, I don't want that. Protect our brethren in pagan. I have a choice with him. Protect against Bengal. That's a good mission. Okay. I am ready to... Go ahead. Well, it's actually almost that time. Okay. Amazingly. Unpause. Let's get at least to uh, a month or two here. And as expected, Bengal just disbanded his whole army. Which means that I got my mission for free. And now I can work on something else. Damn it! I always forget to do this though. I, I just <laughs> just created a subject after having fabricated on Bengal, so that I could fabricate. Like I, I built up a spy network so I could claim on his land, and now I can't claim on his land because I don't border him, because I gave it all to a subject. And you can't fabricate on provinces that are just adjacent to your subjects. No, that's kind of weird. You can make your subjects fabricate on him though. Yeah, he will probably. You think will the Yaren tribes uh, suffer uh, penalties for being on mountains? Yaren tribe rebels? Yaren tribe rebels. I don't know. Find out. Let's 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 test. Hey, I just kind of a big deal. Twenty five percent everything kind of sucks for me. How many military Ooh. leaders? What are they talking about? All right, we got to take a break here because uh, it's that time, and also because I have 800 Splendor. I can enact my first decision. Don't laugh. Splendor's awesome. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Transfer subject peace treaty at half cost. Hmm. All right. Well, anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. See you in a bit.